Hey everyone, welcome to our talk session five. We are here with Z Taptara. Hello. Hey, how you doing, man? All right. How yeah. are you guys? Doing pretty well. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll just kind of like jump in, jump into it here. You want you want to tell us a little about how you maybe got started? Um, sure. Um, I first got started as like I worked for like a small company in uh, Seattle, uh, sort of like north of Seattle in Kirkland, they were working on some uh, Disney video game, <laughs> Piglet and <laughs> Monster uh -huh. and stuff. So I was a 2D animator. Basically, so my background is 2D, so I draw a lot um, back in the day. So that was, I don't know, 2000, 2001 or something like that. And I didn't get to paint until like I start with Arena Net, and I can uh, get to paint a little bit, but I was like, I start off as a 2D animator, so we just draw um, every single frame, so it was, usually it's a, I forgot how many frames it was, probably 15 frames per second, but the standard animation was like, back then was like 24, um, so we just kind of draw a lot on that, and then that was like my first start, so to kind of get into the industry, uh, but originally I was, I was trying to get into the comics, but uh, and then later on, I realized they don't pay as much as video games. <laughs> so I said, oh, <laughs> I guess I'm just going to stick around in the video games. Uh, they're really nice. And then had, they have good insurance. <laughs> so it's really good. <laughs> I mean, you know, somebody got to eat, right? So, yeah. So when, um, you were kinda, like, when you were trying to get into the industry, like, did you did you go to art school beforehand? or like, where you um, Nope. I, uh, I kind of, uh, sort of, I um, know some people that, um, work for Disney, so I was like, I just kind of asked them, like, what do I, what do they need to, you know, to um, to get into this kind of, so they're like, uh, I need a demo reel or something, and I need uh, some kind of portfolio, so it took me about a year or something to put something together um, and kind of send it to them, but I have always been drawing, so I went to school for business, uh, and worked for um, Microsoft and Nextel for a while, um, and then I decided uh, I don't want to do that anymore. But I always been like drawing, and my grandfather was a uh, he was a sculptor for uh, he he was a professor uh, sculpture professor in the university uh, back in uh, China back then. But and I grew up with him, so I kind of um, I'm pretty familiar with art since um, since I was like two or three. So I kind of grew up with it, uh, sculpt a lot of things, but I never sculpt anymore. Um, yeah, <clears throat> so basically, you kind of, you know, taking some class, and but you, I have, like, background in art, so it's kind of, like, uh, same, but uh, kind of uh, on and off, usually. When I was in high school, I didn't do anything, but or college, but then I kind of, like, uh, when I got a job, I kind of, like, ah, uh, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I'm just going to go back to drawing. <laughs> yeah, or painting. I didn't even know that I could paint until afterwards. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that was like 2004, 2005 when I kind of started really uh, focusing on painting. Uh, but I was like, uh, uh, I was an, a 2D animator and then uh, when I kind of, the company kind of like not doing so good and the, the, the Disney kind of like not setting up a lot of stuff so I kind of applied to, uh, luckily ArenaNet, uh, which is uh, the guy from Blizzard, um, it's kind of really hard to like paint and talk. Um, Guy from Blizzard, that kind of like uh, the Patrick Wire, um, Jeff Strain, and Michael Bryan, uh, they're starting a new company way back in 2003, 2004. So they moved from um, California to Seattle. So I kind of got lucky. So I, you know, was uh, one of the earlier ones that start ArenaNet, uh, and they originally like from Blizzard. So, and that's when I start doing a lot of 3D modeling and stuff, and then I, uh, I begin with them with like more, uh, doing a bunch of stuff like um, tile terrain, you know, painting terrain tile for um, the level design and a lot of props and then uh, moving up to creatures and then to the character and then after a few years and I start doing concepts. So basically from the bottom to <laughs> to the wherever that was in arena net. Yeah, is that, <clears throat> am I talking too much? <laughs> oh, no, no, you're <laughs> yeah, kind of mumbling to whatever comes to mind. 
<laughs> no, it's, just, it's interesting to just like kind of hear where you came from. Like, uh, yeah. it, like I, I know you've had a lot of success with um your uh is it I Draw Girls? Is that it? Uh, yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> I don't know. It was like in 2007. I had to register a new domain name <laughs> because it it was pretty childish. Uh, back in the day, I did a lot of character design, like uh, for uh, an NPC female, and mm. then my uh, one of my friend on my team, uh, hi, uh, no hi, um, that was Delhi. He was like, hey, you should start a website and call it I Draw Girl because I do that all day. <laughs> so that's how it started. It's like college from arena net kind of like yeah, just we just kind of starting out it out for fun. Uh, but then uh, it's kind of gaining a lot of traffic because nobody do YouTube back then. <laughs> it's only me and some other people, but not a lot of people from like game industry that kind of do YouTube. So I guess uh, it was kind of early on back then, and then it's kind of got traction. So it's like oh, I guess. Uh, and then when there's a lot of people coming in, then I was like. I think I should change the name to the art classes. So I bought a new domain and changed it to the art classes so uh, people wouldn't like question the, like because it's, I don't know, it's sort of like, it's funny. If you do art, then you know, like it's funny. But if you don't, then they probably think like some kind of a, a weird uh, name site, porn or something, I don't know. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's just inappropriate for a grown up adult like me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually kind of funny. Like this is kind of like full circle for me because like I actually like when I first decided to like paint like your your website and like Bainzu were like mm -hmm. all watched. So like you you were like the first person like I actually started watching tutorials from. So this, this is actually kind of cool for me to like hear. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm kind of surprised when Fang started too. I was like it was like yeah because I was like I was uh, way back when I first started. He actually he was the first guy. Uh, that I saw on website that has like a tutorial sort of like not video you know what I mean it's yeah. like way back when like 2000 um, 1999 you look at the website you like you can see how he does stuff and a lot of perspective a lot of mech and stuff right yeah. and then I get to meet him when we doing Guild War 1 so he's kind of like get to meet your hero I was like what is he working on this game so he was like on board on um, season 1 oh I mean <laughs> Um, he was he was one, yeah, and then he come in like uh, from California. He have to like fly into Seattle like every week. So, so it's him, uh, Feng Su and Ed. Um, I forgot what his last name was. And then uh, Kevin, um, Kevin Chang, I think um, that he does a lot of really good. So all of them are, like from uh, art center, but they already graduated and they work on like a bunch of high profile stuff. So I get to meet um, those guys, and I was like, I was pretty. I don't know, just kind of, holy shit, I never thought I would meet these guys. You know what I mean? You yeah. Like, yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah, and you kind of like look up to this guy, and you didn't even know that they're going to be working um, uh, with, uh, you know, like, sort of like dictate uh, the direction of the art uh, that you were working on, so uh, they kind of established uh, the beginning of the Guild War. And then uh, also uh, Daniel Doshu, uh, uh, Daniel's still there, he's the art director, so, and I learned a lot from Daniel, it's like, He's probably one of the best teacher I've ever met because he's always be like, uh, I work on something and then he'll be like, that. and I'll ask him like, if, if does it look cool? Is is it a go? And nine out of ten, he'll be like, scrape it, <laughs> just do it over. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's really like he's really like super duper um, high quality like guys, and it's it took uh, it's kind of like took a while to kind of you know get to that level of quality that he uh, aimed for. So, But, I mean, it's it's made you a better artist, too, because uh, if you look at the people who work in that, I'm kind of, like, not so, you know, um, as good as the other guys. Uh, like, if you look at uh, Jamie Jones, who was, like, working with us for a long time, and uh, everybody was working under Daniel, and then Kai was working under Daniel, and Richard Anderson, and Doc Williams and those guys are like all super duper good. Um, you don't need these guys off. You probably know them. Um, yeah, I know Jamie Jones. Yeah, Jamie Jones, Kai. <laughs> <Kai. He's>, <laughs> the funny thing is, uh, I saw Jamie Jones um, when he was uh, in the way back at the speed painting forum at uh, Sejun. If you guys ever know what Sejun is, uh, no. those are really old school. So. <laughs> 
that's where you find usually find Craig Mullins, and that's where you go to watch Craig Mullins back in the, so this season.com, and you go to what the hell? Uh, not finished work, finished work, speed painting, I guess. Haven't been there. So this is like the beginning of speed painting before speed painting come to Facebook or something, and it's this is thread number four, uh, and three of thousand three hundred something. So that's when like you know a bunch of people go post, and then I found Jamie Jones when he was only like seventeen, <laughs> and oh. he's like <laughs> kicking ass way back when. And then uh, I think I was like PMing him like, hey, do you work somewhere and you want to come work with us? And then he's like, still school. I was like, oh shit. And then uh, I think at the a, a year later uh, we got this. Um, Knew this girl that just come work with us from Valve. Uh, she kind of know him, so she PM him. It's like, hey, uh, it doesn't matter. You're still in college. If you want to come work, you can just come. So he just come work with us, which is a pretty <laughs> interesting story. And it's like that guy's super motherfucking good. Oh, did I just cuss? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Right, right, man. Yeah, it's YouTube, right? So <laughs> nobody cares. Yeah, but the same as you want. No, don't worry. No worries here. <laughs> no censors here. <laughs> but you can just, but you can just beep it. Beep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I also knew. Uh, also knew K Kai. Um, not, not yeah. first, of course. I know of his like his work on Guild Wars Two and stuff. And, yeah, he worked. He worked with us since the first Guild War. He just come in a little later, and uh, he's he's just lived like I don't know. Um, now I kind I move a little up. We used to live like uh, six blocks away from each other, but I hardly ever see him, uh, because I was doing my own thing and. I usually see his roommate uh, more because he used to work like Rich Anderson, and now Rich is working for MPC, uh, Moving Picture in London. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if he's still there. I heard that he moved back to um, to work with video games now because like uh, movie is um, the film studio pre production post production are pretty brutal, so and there's not a lot of like lead time that you can relax. So I think a lot of people are like moving back and forth like. You film, you do freelance, you do video games, but once you get started, you're gonna kind of get to know people, and you either go to convention or something, and then one thing led to another, and then um, it depends on what you really want to do, sort of things like that. See, I kind of mumbling again. It's like off the topic, yeah. talk about something else. No, it's no. It's, it's, <clears throat> actually, you, uh, I think yeah. you brought something up that I was. I've always been kind of like. Curious, like uh, when it comes to like deadlines, like with pieces, like I've heard, like movies is the worst. Yeah, it's 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 pretty brutal. Uh, but I kind I do freelance for them like once in a while, and they usually just kind of like even hey, uh, we need this piece in like two days. I was yeah. like, what? How many? Yeah, I was like uh, five. I was like, uh, okay, it's pretty brutal. But if you work for them full time, it's even worse. Uh, but <clears throat> most of them are surprisingly there's a lot of them are, like in England and. It was kind of really strange. There's not a lot of them around in in US, um, like London. They have a lot of them, and then I work with some company in Glasgow. Um, Scotland has some, and I, it's a lot more in London, I guess, because back then, uh, with um, I'm not sure why they have a lot of them up there. And a lot of people have to kind of go up there to work with them. But there are we have some in LA, not a lot, but a lot of the good ones are like in London, like. Uh, uh, MPC double negative or something like that. And so, and how do you guys like start this channel? What make you guys doing this kind of stuff? Cole, you want to tell them a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. Why not? So, uh, we, me and Travis, are just trying. We're we're kind of at the like heavy study phase, you know, just trying to learn fundamentals and just build up a portfolio. So we thought it would be cool to sort of make a group oh. and. Uh, do a bunch of challenges that kind of like force us to do all these things like um, character work, landscapes, all that. And then we would try to do interviews like this so we could learn from you guys. And it's, it's actually funny, like I was already watching your your tutorials since I got started, so this is actually kind of oh. cool to uh, oh, meet you. Right. We, we thought it would be like, <clears throat> um, like a good way to do networking and mm -hmm. build ourselves up at the same time. So. Yeah, and I think another thing that a lot of people, uh, if you guys want to get started, should do, you should like go to a lot of convention. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't do that a lot. Um, I used to like when I wanted to get the comic, I always go to the con, and then have like um, the editor would be there, right? Mm -hmm. And you kind of get in there and um, 
giving them, you know, feedback, like DC. I don't know if they're still doing it. Back in the day, they do it, and then I got it with DC, and then I kind of got the job with the game company, so I kind of like, okay, and then uh, depends on what they offer. But uh, in convention nowadays, you have, like, a game gaming convention, too, like uh, PAX or um, tons of crap that I don't even know. Like, a lot of people got a job from convention, too. Like, my friend went to convention, and I think uh, they went to see some director, that Del Toro talk, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then he just gave uh, some kind of a small portfolio sketch to Del Toro, and then he got a job working on Pacific Rim. But he's already, like, has a job in the video game industry, so... And a lot of time, you'll be surprised. Like, you go to convention, you hook up with the right people. I, that's what I heard. I don't really do that anymore. Uh, most of the time, I get the job from people who I know or just randomly online. <clears throat> and YouTube or Facebook... Sorry. <clears throat> I'm kind of a little under the weather today. Um, I thought I would get sick, but eventually I did. Damn it. Uh, no, but I'm not that sick. I think we're all kind of facing that with, like, the weather the weather change. Like, which I don't know. Uh, I was kind of pissed because it happened yesterday, and I was like, I thought that I'm going to be okay today, and then I was like, fuck, it's still here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, yeah you're de- I think you're definitely right. Like, we're planning on going to, uh, we're, like, because we're spending the whole next year trying to build this group up and trying to improve our skills and stuff, and then we're going to, Try to piece together a portfolio, and we're planning on going to New York Comic Con next oh, year. Oh, nice! Yeah, awesome. Are you guys on the, from the East Coast? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. That's cool. So we thought that'd be like I don't know if if we're gonna you know if you're gonna do it, do it big, you know, just try to yeah, <laughs> just go and you know you know like experience it, and then keep going, and then you see the same old face all the time, like uh, a bunch of. Uh, like when you work in the game industry, people always move around and working at the new company and. They always go to the same convention, and uh, you see the same old face. And, uh, if you keep in touch, to most of the, most of the time you will stay in and get a job. Mm. Yeah, but once you get in, it's kind of not. It's you will be okay. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, that's kind of like what I. I think that's kind of what I told myself when like, we uh, we talked about going to conventions before, and um, yeah, they were like, okay, so. If we spend, you know, I was like, well, we got a year until Comic Con next year, and that's like the biggest one for like visual artists. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was like, well, if we, uh, I was like, I bet you, if we worked really hard for the next year and went with a portfolio, we'd probably get a job. So uh, yeah, probably. Um, if you like this nowadays, it's a lot harder too because it's more competitive, yeah. uh, and, and more people kind of uh, trying to do this. But I saw like some kid that like. I saw some good stuff, and I was like, I didn't know how old they were, and they were like, what, 15? I was like, what the hell? Yeah. 15, and this is what you can do? I mean, the fuck, man? Yeah, I saw some stuff like that before, too. I was like, man, this is ridiculous. There were, like, people I know. 16 and 17 that are doing, like, these photoreal paintings, and I'm like, yeah. I was 17, man? Like, I, yep. oh, my gosh, my drawings. Somebody should call up that kid, take that kid out to the bar, start drinking or something. <laughs> yeah. so slow him down a little bit. And it's like, I mean, enjoy you know, life. It's, it's inspiring yeah. to see kids that young doing that, but at the same time, it's like, how is this happening? <laughs> I know, it's so weird. Somebody should give that kid some drugs and help him <laughs> yeah, yeah. corrupt that Stabitas kid. <laughs> Stop the kid in the process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I had a really good question. What was he? Uh, there was. Do you? Something. All right. I thought I had something, but it kind of kind of left me. Uh, it's okay. I actually got one. Um, uh, going back to your your uh, your website. Um, I, I was just curious, like, what what was your initial inspiration to do that? Like, were you just wanting to like help people out because there wasn't a lot of. Uh, videos oh of yeah, that was um, that was kind of like accident because I didn't. It was kind of like way back because <clears throat> I didn't officially go to school, right? So usually stuff that I learned from it's just from website. So a lot of time I would see Fang was like the first one, and then uh, as I uh, start working in the industry, then I post a lot on Cjun forum, and I'll see people who are really good. So like there'll be like crack mountains, but crack mountains never do tutorial uh, back then. Um, and you see a Spart, um, Spart, and um, Nicolas Dubour, and the other guy was uh, David Levy. Uh, Spart way back, he has like a step-by-step tutorial. This is like uh, before YouTube time. 
So I always go to his website and look at his stuff. Like his website, way back in the day, would have like a section that say tutorial, and you have like step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. See what I mean? So yeah, yeah. And then like way back when I started, so I kind of like look at his his, his like his stuff, and I just want to be like this guy. So good. But um, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm kind of like looking at that, and I kind of realized like well. And then a few years after, I look at all these tutorial, um, and then Spart and then David Lovey. He, they, those two guys are like my super inspiration. And I look at their tutorial all the time, but they like doing um, a lot of mech um, and a lot of uh, Spart does a lot of book cover, and, and I think both of these guys are like doing a lot of movie stuff now. So, um, so and I think David Lovey. Uh, while he's doing a movie, an independent movie, which is I think it's called Plug, and you can like go watch him. Yeah, I do. I never really meet this guy in person. I mean, if I go to convention or go to some other stuff that the other artists go to, I probably would. But uh, these guys are like basically how I actually kind of start like learning stuff from them online, and that's like 50% of my you know learning. So I learn through these guys, and then basically. Uh, I learned through my art director and my coworker and a bunch of people, and then after a while, when I get to do concept for Guild War, and then I was like, oh, maybe I should just like start painting here and there, because you know sometimes you post on some like I post on concept art, and then you get a lot of uh, conceptart.org. I don't know if it's still there, but back then you you get like um com uh like you have like weekly competition, and you do like okay, uh, you win one, you get some you know star or whatever. <laughs> And then uh, after you win multiple times, then uh, people start PMing you like, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? Blah, 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 you know? And then so I was like, uh, maybe. And then I saw YouTube coming on, and I don't see a lot of, um, I see like speed painting video, which is not speed painting. It's like time lapse painting, which has yeah. no explanation or nothing like that, right? So I kind of start doing like a small sketch, uh, some stuff, and kind of post there. So like, yeah, maybe, you know. Um, when people ask me questions, I just send them to the video, um, and then it's kind of start from there. You get a lot of like traction. People that kind of, you know, come and view. It's like, oh, I guess there are people watching. <laughs> so kinda, that was like since 2007. So that was it's been like eight years. I didn't think it was I was gonna do do it this long. So so it's kind of like you know when uh, when other people in the previous generation pass on something to you. And then the technology change, you kind of like, well, yeah, here we go. So this is what I can do to the community, right? Because I got it from those guys. Then the next step is like, what you gonna do when they ask you questions? Just kind of like give it, you know. So you don't have to like explain it to every single email. <laughs> you just like send them all Wait, one email, yeah. <laughs> right? So yeah, so we're like, hey, this is what you do. And now you got like video, which is and you you guys don't know how lucky you guys are. It's like way back in there, you have to like. Search and search and search until you find something like super good. Until like you go to a certain spot, a certain um, forum, to find something really good, and to find somebody or some group of people who are really good, and they consistently post it. And you Basically like an underground kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, it wasn't like, it wasn't like this big at all. There's not that many people nowadays. There's like so many people who are so good. And like when you are on Facebook and you follow, this is a great thing about social media too. Because like when you are at a certain um, following certain people and and you know posting in a certain um, what do you call it groups or something, mm -hmm. then you find some people who are really good. And you can just follow. Click by just follow. Not you don't even have to search through forum thread by thread. <laughs> look for the username. You'll be like typing search, look for Spart, look for Baron Theory, or look for you know whoever that you want to look for. And yeah, I guess nowadays you guys are like super lucky because you see uh, a lot of stuff that are like it's right there. You know what I mean? So if you oh, look yeah. for it, you will find it. And um, and then oh um, comes along like I think. After a while, there was like no one DVD or something. I bought tons of those fucking DVD, <laughs> and I learned a lot from those. Yeah, and it's super expensive too. Like back then, it was like sixty bucks a pop, but it's pretty useful. So I was like, oh shit, sixty bucks. I I buy like tons of them. So and I learned tons from those like DVD tutorial and all those 
from those uh, you know those guys that were there before us or whatever that is and yeah they're just super useful and nowadays you have YouTube which is like everything is like freer so it's, it's, it's super cool to kind of see a lot of people like contribute and all that stuff you know what I mean and uh, yeah, no. yeah. yeah. Uh, honestly, I think about that a lot. Is the uh, like you know our generation really is pretty lucky because like I can't imagine like having to try to like hunt down the resources and like figuring out fundamentals without having the internet. Oh yeah, man, that's <laughs> whew, that's 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 uh, that's part of your day. You just take you're like okay, come to work, and then in the morning you like look for cool stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Like, I mean, I can't, like, because, like, I, I try to put myself in the mindset of, like, you know, what I would do, and the best thing I can, could come up with is, like, go to the library, you know, and try to... Oh, like, yeah. Like, like, recommendations, like, nobody would be like, oh, check out Loomis or something, you know, you wouldn't even know where to start. No, yeah, that you're going to have to talk to. Uh, I know, like, there's a, a couple people that I work with uh, way uh, at ArenaNet that they were doing this since in the 80s. And they, like, if you talk to them, they're like, God damn, you guys got internet. You can just do research. Um, they have to, like, buy, well, for reference-wise, they, they have, like, a stack of a CDs that uh, have a bunch of, like, photograph and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, what do you call that? Stock photo? Yeah, that's not yeah. Right. <laughs> and nowadays you can just go to a website, subscribe to be a member. Yeah, like Google Images. We don't need like stock photo anymore. Yeah, and <laughs> those photos are like super high resolution, and um, you have to kind of I don't know where they find those, but um, they have to like go to libraries and there's like there's no tutorial, um, and just imagine like way back when there's no Photoshop, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would just be oh. It's like no, it's no wonder that like the idea of like a starving artist like actually existed because like there are probably like so few people who like <laughs> were resourceful enough to figure this stuff out. Yeah, yeah, it's like almost like just a lot of luck at that stage. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so, that's why I'm so like grateful to like guys like you that put all this content because like I I don't know where I like, I would be a lot further away. I probably wouldn't even have found like the books or anything because like. All the books and stuff like were like just mentioned in like Fane Zoo videos, and then I would watch yeah. your videos a lot and like a couple others. Oh, thanks. And, like that set the stage, yeah. yeah it's kind of cool. Like, like, yeah. like all your character tutorials, <laughs> like I would just sit and paint. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's kind of go cool both way though, because if nobody's watching, <laughs> I probably wouldn't be doing yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, zero real today. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, that, that, was, that was how both of us got our initial start. Like pretty much was, you know, he was watching a lot of your stuff in Fang Zoo, and I, uh, I was actually watching Dave Raposa's stuff. And oh, Dave Raposa! I never met him. I heard about him. Yeah, he, uh, I was watching that, and I, I've heard him. I heard him mention Lewis one day, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna look this guy up. And then mm -hmm. I picked up the figure drawing book, and then everything changed. Yeah, we oh. like literally spent like a year hammering those books before we we started yep. this. <laughs> Man, and Glenn, Glenn Volpu is really good too, and yeah. So live drawing is like what I do a lot of time. I'm still doing it nowadays, every week, uh, pretty much. So that's that's what gonna get like. I think that's what get me. Uh, um, that what helped me get better the fastest. Like go live drawing all the time, mm -hmm. like way back. I still kind of I still do nowadays too. Um, what do you do for a uh, like? What do you do to warm up every day? Like, do you anything specific that you like to do? Um, to warm up, so what you need is you need um, uh, like a slice of lemon, and then you need a really, really good distilled vodka. And then you just <laughs> yeah. it in and every morning. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, yeah, usually, that's, usually, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see you like chugging like a big thing of vodka, and then you set it down and go, ah, good morning. <laughs> yep, that would be Sunday fun day. Yeah. <laughs> Not so much in it, way back in the day, maybe. No, um, usually I would, uh, comps, you know, just do a lot of comps. Um, so comps and will kind of get you started to because sometimes you know early in the morning you you don't know what. You kind of have your day plan, but you, your brain is still kind of fresh, and you not get uh, too stuck on any goal, any project yet. You just kind of like, uh. and like the, I found the best 
um, time to do some cool personal project, not personal project, but like kind of loosen up is or finding some cool design is when you wake up in the morning and do tons of comps, uh, do as many as you can or as many as your time allow. Um, and then uh, before you go to bed, you should have like a sketchbook like right by your bed if your girlfriend allowed. Um, <laughs> then you can just kind of go through that before you go to bed, like at the, <clears throat> like uh, I was talking to dude, like Andrew Jones a long time ago. He was talking about the lucid dream state or whatever that you about to fall asleep. And actually, you you got some cool creepy sketch when you kind of do that before you fall asleep. You're like, did I just fucking sketch that? Yeah. And it's kind of yeah, it's kind of weird. You you just come up with because you fall asleep, right? You're like oh, I go to bed, uh, uh, and then you just kind of come up with something that you didn't think you would come up with, and yeah, usually and it could be like super Cthulhu or something. But it, it depends on the person, like uh, or whatever you influenced by by on that day. I guess you can come up with something really cool. Um, yeah, so that's uh, usually this, the beginning of the day and the end of the day would be a good way to kind of get uh, your creativity out. Because like in the midday or when you start, like say if you have a project, right, okay, um, book covers or concept that you have to do that day, when you start those, um, your, your head is already locked in with certain ideas and certain uh, stuff that you have been looking at, you know what I mean? But um, the good way to look at something or start something, and warm up with something, you should you should not have seen anything yet. You kind of still have uh, open-minded about everything. You see what I mean? So. Yeah. No, I think there's a lot of truth in that. Like I, I I'm a night shift worker, so like whenever mm -hmm. it gets to like 5 a.m. and I've got like two you hours. Start time, I, yeah, I start I start getting tired. <laughs> when when oh. you get tired, you don't care anymore. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah. So you just start flinging stuff everywhere and like things. I don't know. It, it gets really interesting because like I don't know. The usually the coolest ideas I have are like when I'm. Yep. Awesome. When you're out of it. Yep. But <laughs> not not drunk though. I mean like <laughs> I mean like <laughs> in the sleepy state. Yeah. When you're drunk, you never get anything done. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, you just kind of do that. So yeah. Anyways. When we were. So, uh, yep. Oh, go sorry. ahead. What were you going to ask? Nothing. I was just mumbling oh. to myself. That's what I do every day. I think, we, I think we all do that to some degree. I know. That's what you do when you have no friends. You just like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you to keep yourself company. <laughs> I know. It's like, oh, man. I was going to ask, like, when you go to... Uh, um, when we were talking earlier about conventions, we were talking, like, how competitive it is. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, you would probably... I mean, well, I'm sure, I'm sure you're well... You, you know, but like, what what would be something you would recommend for like people who are, I don't know, like, because you know, doing like photo real stuff isn't mm -hmm. enough anymore. Like, like at least. Well, well it, uh, what I'm gonna recommend is do stuff that you like. Okay. Yeah, whatever stuff. I mean, if some people never do realistic stuff, and they would do like stylized stuff, and then like. Um, there was like, I think last year, uh, Amazon is starting their own game studio, so they called me and they were like, oh, hey, you want to come in for an interview? I was like, uh, sure, I'm available. And then I went in for an interview and then they asked me if I could do like a um, stylized stuff. I was like, yeah, I could. And then they were going to ask me like, um, if you want to do that on a daily basis. I was like, mm, that depends. <laughs> um, so <laughs> What's I the project? <laughs> yeah, it's it's when you do a portfolio, you should stick to what you really like. Yeah, you should think about like, uh, like it's it's probably you're gonna be happier. Like if you like Blizzard stuff, um, then if you like doing stuff that's similar to what Blizzard's doing because they have their own kind of thing, um, going on the style or even like, it, but it's kind of diverse too in Blizzard. Like you have Warcraft sort of style and then go to all the way to Diablo, and Diablo is a little more realistic. Um, so then your portfolio gonna kind of fall into that category. You know what I mean? And if you're doing like uh, stylized stuff, which is, um, oh, what would I compare to stylized stuff? I never really paid much video game anymore. Um, say like uh, these, uh, like say a DC animated series, right? Uh, like um, 
uh, uh, what is his name? What the, um, you know what DC animated sub 2D stuff look like, right? So that kind of style. Um, so if you do stylized stuff, it's, it's they have like a different style, and then uh, there are some company who like only do game with the stylized kind of stuff, and there are some company who only do game like The Witcher, you know, I don't know, and Naughty Dog or whatever that just do realistic stuff. So if you don't like them, you're gonna have to sit down and be doing that every single day, and I don't think you want to sacrifice your time for doing something that you don't really enjoy because I mean. This is a job that I like a blessing. Like everybody, when I start working for video game, like and I talk to regular people, they be like, "Oh God, I hate my job." Blah, and I have nothing to say. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. fuck, I'm I'm cool. Like I go to work <laughs> every day happy. I mean, I slack off sometimes, but I'm still pretty happy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, and to maximize your happiness, you have to kind of find something that you really like and then but uh, to get your foot in the door um, you might have to compromise a little bit you know find something that close it's good but once you kind of establish your uh, your connection or uh, what you can do when everybody know your work ethics everybody know what you're capable of you can uh, kind of establish your sort of a connection or circle of professional friend then you know you can kind of uh, Look around and see something that really, really suits you. You know what I mean. So, uh, and also look for your favorite portfolio that you kind of like want to be like. Uh, you want to be like Craig Mullins, then look at Craig Mullins and sort of follow whatever the hell that uh, he's doing, which is probably phenomenal. Um, and just kind of. Portfolio to that, basically, like yeah, cater to that. Not like not like copying. I mean, but I mean, everyone's sort of in some yeah, in some way, everyone is sort of influenced by some of the people that come before them. So, but then eventually you're gonna emerge um, with your own self. Yeah, um, you'll you'll take the concepts and kind of yeah. put your own spin on it and kind of yep. you know branch off from it and yeah. You know. So it's kind of like a. Yeah, it's kind of like a circle that started here, but you kind of overlapping with this, and then the, your stuff, the other people's stuff, your stuff, other people's stuff. You know what I mean? So okay. kind of like in that. But uh, make sure you like what you're doing because otherwise the products will not turn out uh, good if you don't care. So uh, whatever you do, you have to you have to care, you have to enjoy it, and that's when um, your stuff's gonna shine, <clears throat> or not. I mean, if you enjoy it, I mean, if <laughs> yeah. you enjoy it, you know, you don't really care. You know what I mean? If you enjoy it, as long as it's good, it's fine. It doesn't have to like, yeah. If you enjoy it, you make it look good, or you try <laughs> to make it look good. That's what I do every day. I try every day to make it look good. Never I think that's like, I think that's one illusion that like we all kind of fold ourselves with. Like maybe at some point where like mm -hmm. you were, you, know, you study so much where you're like maybe one day I won't have to think about it and I'll just be great. You know, and then you yeah, you, you, yeah, sort yeah. of something like that. You just be happy, you know. You don't have to be great. You can just be happy and yeah. um, popping out a few kids and like, <laughs> something like that. I mean, like right, right now, like uh, we like I've recently started like doing like portfolio building and such, and I did exactly what you're talking about, where like you get like a um, a finally an artist I like, and I would take a piece that I was like I didn't, I've never done before, like on that mm -hmm. level. But like I was like, maybe I think I could do this. Yeah, like, just you know, you you uh, your mentality. You have to be like a, every piece you do. You have to always uh, get. You have to always be better than the last one. Yeah. Even though it might not be possible all the time, but every ten, uh, at least if you have that mentality, uh, every ten, uh, your eleven will emerge, and then uh, your another ten then. You have another one that would be better than your eleven. You know what I mean. So exactly. just just kind of have that kind of mind mindset, and then you will always get better. That's like my stuff two years ago or five years ago is totally different from nowadays, and I'm kind of happier than my older stuff, but still not totally happy. I'm just happy that I'm doing it, but the final might not really make me happy. You know, kind of like ah, it's almost there. Something's missing. Yeah. Something like that. But yeah, definitely. Great right, guys. Um, anyways, uh, I gotta go back to shenanigans stuff.
And um, nice to meet you guys. And uh, okay. um, yeah. Any oh. other last question or something? Yeah, I actually didn't really paint this one. I just kind of babbling, sort of. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no real last questions or anything. Uh, thanks, Shia, for your time. You know, coming on, we really appreciate it. Um, you know, yeah, like, you're welcome. My pleasure. You know. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah, thanks so much for coming on. Uh, is there any uh, final thoughts you have for the the viewers? Maybe some advice, or you know, if they're trying to get started or something. Oh, my advice is, uh, I don't know. Final thought is what you ask. Of, I guess no. Is you have to do it every day. You know, like. Uh, like nowadays, I teach a lot of classes and group class, and I can see which one's gonna be awesome and which one is not. And a lot of time, people think talent is excess, but to me, I mean, there are certain talent in everybody. But what is gonna be, what's gonna trump talent is it's your work ethics and and the way you think. So if you work hard. Um, and don't party as much. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you work hard, do it every day, and study, um, then eventually, and don't give up, and then eventually you get wherever you want to go. I mean, you can go slow and then just just keep doing it, pounding it, you know, and eventually, um, it's just a matter of time. So, yeah. So don't like when you see some good stuff, don't get discouraged. You just kind of like, oh shit, blah, you know. Just keep going and don't be like, ah. Oh, like some people are like you know you have to really really do it every day and you have to really really uh, at least if you're working full time or part at least do it at least four hours a day if you're working on some four to eight hours because when you get to the industry you're gonna be working at least eight to ten so um, and that's gonna be every day and you have to really like it that's why I kind of emphasize on like you have to really like what whatever style you're doing in your portfolio you have to kind of enjoy it um, because that's what you're gonna be doing with your work you're gonna live with your work home sleep with your work home and go to bed with your computer basically <laughs> yeah that's, uh, that's pretty much been my day to day for yeah, the last and, yeah. <laughs> get used to it because that's that's pretty much what you're gonna be for uh, maybe to the end of your life and because the one cool thing about it is like it doesn't matter how old you are you can still do you know the same thing you always get better like Renor he's like 90 and he's like I don't know how old does he live. Renoir lived to like 90 something, and he's still like paying the shit out of things. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, he was like, Frank was yeah. he was like, he was, he was like, he was getting really old, and his stuff was like still crazy. Yeah, and he's he have like arthritis or something, and he's still like paying. It's like it doesn't yeah. really matter, you know. He's just like, fuck, I love doing it. You're not gonna stop me paying. <laughs> like, I never have to like really retire with this yeah. career. Is what I what drew me no. to it. Yeah. Reasons. Yeah, you always come back. It doesn't matter, like even if how much. It doesn't matter how much money you have either. Yeah, I will still be doing this shit every day. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a million, I'll still be painting. You know, that's what makes it the difference between like um, people who really like what they do or, or people who love what they do and people who like what they do. You know what I mean? You love what yeah. you do. It doesn't matter if you have, uh, a, you know, how much money you have. You're still doing the same thing. I would imagine like Michael Jordan after he retired, he's still playing basketball in his backyard. So, you know what I mean? So, Probably. yeah. All right, man. Uh, well, well, thank guys. you for having me. And, um, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, just uh, shoot at me on my channel or go to Facebook or something. Yeah, yeah. thanks so much for coming on. Yeah, check out his uh, website. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. All right. All right. Have a good one, guys. Yep, bye-bye. See you guys next time.